make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. Superpowers, super geniuses, super mechanics, super everybody. But the one thing that seems to be overly done in every show now is the superpower of friendship. My children love watching My Little Pony, and they believe in that show that as long as you have the power of friendship, you can get through anything. But yet, that's a children's show. And so many different superhero shows, superhero movies, superhero anything, think that they need to be like My Little Pony. It doesn't matter the stress that the protagonist goes through, the stress, the time away, that any of his friends need, none of that. As long as we just come together with a power of friendship, we can beat an asteroid hurling towards Earth. But wait a minute, didn't you guys do a lot of calculations on a computer and, and stuff? Like, none of that? No? No? Just power of friendship. This is our discussion on the My Little Pony effect in superhero television shows. So do you think that the power of our friendship can get me a million dollars, Matt? You get stuck with the band, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I get tired of the this whole the power of friendship in everything anymore. And You've watched a lot more of this than I have because I kind of tend to avoid these kinds of shows. Well, oh. it's... It, uh, I loved superhero shows for a long time and I watched them all the time. Like the Arrowverse, the first few seasons of, you know, the Arrow and the Flash and they were all really good, but all of these shows just get to this place where all of a sudden it's not about... And there are a lot of shows. It's not just theirs. I'm sorry. Supernatural does it too. Yeah, that's a little bit more about and, and, just and, and, them and, too, at least. Yeah. But it's well, not the it's not the power of friendship. But it is the we're team free will, and we're just gonna go out and with our high school but, GED but, and uh, give them hell attitude. Well, but it's not so much that. Like, there's just so yeah. many shows that I've seen, and I well, as long as we have each other, 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 as long as we have each other. Yeah. And I just, it, you hear it so much, and I get to this place, and, and it started bothering me as the kids started getting older, and they started watching, like, My Little Pony, I'm like, whatever. And I really started to notice it, and, and all of a sudden I started to know, notice this whole power of friendship idea, just, and that's all it is, it's like, as long as we have each other, well, we have each other, well, it doesn't matter, we have each other. I feel like we should and, get rings if that's the case. Uh, oh, my God. Like, you know, just link, just link the ring like the Super Pals or whatever, and, you know. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's, just... it's like, no, and it's, uh, you even see it in a lot of games, especially anything that's got, like, an ensemble cast. Right. As long as we all stand united, we can defeat the evil, and it's just... I mean, to be fair, Lord of the Rings kind of did a little bit of that, but that was different. That was more of the, look, guys, uh, we're going to get run well, over here loyal, if we don't. <laughs> that was loyalty, not the superpower of friendship. No, and also they because, all kind of knew that this was kind of a losing battle unless Frodo succeeded. They were. It was this, you know, the elves, the men, we are not We mentioned Lord of the Rings a lot. We do. <laughs> We've done it, I think, the last two or three. Well, you know, the problem with having one of the most landmark, you know, stories in fantasy writing of our century, or <laughs> the last, you know, yeah, century. century. Yeah, century, yeah. Yeah. Is, um, gets referenced a lot, because a lot of, you know, stories borrow from it. It's, um, if you don't think Rowling's borrowed it from Lord of the Rings, I got something else for you. Um, but no, it's, um... I even called them both the Dark Lord. It's, uh, sorry. It's, uh, but no, it's, it was this, you know, last ditch band together in the face of evil sort of deal. And it wasn't the power of friendship that was going to get them through. It's we're buying time and we probably won't make it. Well, and like, and, and like I said, I, I, I saw it so much in the arrow and the flash. And so, and in, uh, oh, what was the other one I was watching there for? Daredevil? No, Daredevil no. didn't do that. Daredevil actually didn't. 
that was one of the, I think that's why I liked that show so much. Oh, gotcha. Because there was this idea that you need to stick with your friends because they can help you go through whatever you need to. Mm -hmm. But there was the, you know, there was also this idea in Daredevil that you, sometimes you just kind of have to go through things alone. And yeah, sometimes it's not the superpower of friendship that gets you through it. Sometimes it is whatever the soul crushing thing that you go through that's keeping you from having meaningful relationships you just kind of have, have to, to be you kind of have to you just have to do it yeah and you know go and, through it come out the other side yeah okay i enough. will say this i didn't like how they kind of ended uh daredevil when they all just kind of got back together and because uh, like it was like starting at episode one and i i just i, I wasn't the biggest so the, fan of that but yeah. it wasn't it wasn't the worst thing ever and so the, the trick is to you know if you're going to have the rallying cry that's different than the power of friendship it really is, you know, and it was, and I, one thing that I will give, because, you know, we kind of talked about, you know, the marvelous humor in the last one and just a lot of the things that they missed. One of the things that I, I, I liked that they, it wasn't really the superpower of friendship. They kind of did a little bit of it, but it was this idea of falling out and, and people go through things and there is drama and there are things that are hard to come back from. And it was they they did do a lot of that superpower friendship stuff but they kind of did it in the right way right you know, it, it's you know at least up until at least up until end game which i just kind of yeah, yeah. end game was like okay i'm i'm done with the mcu like that's just kind of where i'm at and a lot of people might be mad at me for that one but <laughs> but end game really was just a good you know, we y you had a good run. We saw some stuff. It was really cool. Well, are we over twenty movies with that now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, we're way over twenty movies. Oh, okay. And um, you, I saw it with. And maybe that's part of my reason with like the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, <laughs> I do not like the Guardians movies. I just too much of that it, humor. Oh yeah. no, it's not. It's uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah a yeah. lot of that humor. Then you get the superpower uh, friendship stuff. You know, they they hold an infinity stone at the end of the movie, and they all just hold hands, and I'm like, oh Jesus oh. Christ! They hold hands, and uh, the stone's almost ripping over heart. I'm like. I, I, I need you're, you're, my insulin here. You're screwing with me now, right? <laughs> yeah. You're screwing with me now. All right, so th there's actually a quantifiable thing, right? Is that if it's not the united power of the, you know, the you know different perspectives, the different powers, you know, that can bring, you know, victory, right? You know, it took, you know, Ro Rohan, Gondor, the elves, all these disparate factions coming together to have enough just boots on the ground. Well, and, and a lot um, of that was, again, loyalty and fealty, not, not superpower of friendship. It was doing your duty. Yeah, yeah, it was doing your duty. It's 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 we we all play our parts. And as long as we all play our part. But they don't ever say that. They don't ever like. And, 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 the, and the crappy part is, is like, the, again, and I, I always have to reference like the Arrowverse because the Arrowverse got super heavy. That Supernatural kind of got to it. And and. What with, 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 with when they had Cass and and, and Crowley and, and like all this stuff. And it just got to this place where we all have to do it together. And I'm like, Ugh. Stop. You Just... have an angel and a demon and two guys that seem to be immortal at this point. <laughs> How many times have they died in their deeds? Somewhere in the low hundreds. I know. Thanks, Gabriel. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys, this... And I know they were trying to go with the theme of family there for a while, but, but it, it really just, comes... just it just got to this place where, and again, seasons one through five of of Supernatural are some of the best television that we can ever, have a discussion on that later. That's later. But... but they did. I don't think those guys knew it was going to go that far. Oh, I doubt and it. And it was kind of one of those things is like, well, well, you know, Sam and Dean kind of always have to stay together, and that well, now we have Castle, now we have Crowley. You know, yeah, and then, and you just it kind of lost the family idea there for, except for uh, uh, what was it? It was like the women of supernatural episode or the uh, uh the sisters. Oh, of, the wayward sisters. The yeah. wayward sisters. Yeah, oh, I wanted a spinoff series. I that wanted that so spinoff. Bad. I I bought it. I I wanted that so well, bad. Also, you but, just and take, that was and you know what that, that really was? was a family unit. It was a surrogate family unit. Yeah, but Jody but it was, had brought in Claire and um, uh, Alex. Yeah, and, and then uh, now and Patience, and then of course you had Donna. And Donna's awesome. I love, but and it was so and it was such a good. It's like and you know what I loved about that episode so much is it wasn't the superpower of friendship. Is like look, they need us. 
We play our part, we help them. Yeah. And that's something that gets lost. And it's not this idea. I don't I don't mind if you have a couple of like characters who are romantically involved in a show and they're like, look, you know what? We went through some hard stuff, but as long as you and I can just stay like because I understand that, like you're my faith. I have those conversations with my wife. Like as right. long as as long as you love me and I love you, we can get through anything because it is that that does carry us through. But then you start getting this whole group that, and they all smile and they look at each other and they're like, we can all do Yu -Gi -Oh. this. Just the Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Yeah, you know, where they that, have a little smiley face on the head. As long as our friendship persists, and <laughs> I, I always feel like a horrible person, and I'm like, but I can't hold friendship. All right, so I can't. Just, I mean, I could hold friendship, but I don't want to. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that sounded way wrong. <laughs> I was supposed to. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> wrong. <laughs> but I can't. No, I mean, it was the Yugi Pegasus duel where I, you know, and watching it as an adult, not as a nine-year-old. Yeah. It really all of a sudden hit home where all of a sudden Pegasus is, you know, using his, you know, in that in our version, that five thousand-year-old magical relic. Yeah. To see into Yugi's mind, and then no, there's just them all holding out their little friendship hands, and it's just like, oh crap. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> well, but, and I see it so many times. No. It's part of the reason I stopped watching the Arrowverse, and I got to. Now, obviously, I wish you could watch I got. I made it through like seasons. The difference is of Arrow. Yu-Gi-Oh is aimed at kids. Mm -hmm. Arrow is not. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've seen some of the scenes. They get a little bit intense with some of those actions. They scenes. do get a little bit intense, and it just <laughs> gets to this point. The Flash, the Flash was really bad with it. The Flash, I, Isn't I think that I the one like that had like the five. super engineer, the super scientist, the su the guy who could run through time. And, yeah, like, and, but no, no friendship. Friendship is our biggest superpower. It's like, guys, we got, I, we, no, we, we get the moral you're going for. Friendship is something to fight for. It's not the weapon that you use. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. friendship is not a weapon. I it's, don't know. I've seen some Final Fantasy a, videos out there where apparently the sword gets bigger with friendship. I have my own theories, but you know, <laughs> it's, um, but I'm just like you guys, I'm like, you show writers, you have kids and you watch my little pony and we're like, that's the idea. That's well, what I'm going. And this is, I think, you know, where a lot of this comes and from. And even a lot of that crap got into like the walking dead too. Oh, I know. And then they just started murdering everybody. Uh, well, they're just, they're probably just like, whoa, whoa, we got way too sweet. Kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> It's just, but, like but, even but, the walking yeah. dead started getting there and I'm just like, ah, oh. oh. Like some of the greatest series that we've had just get, but, like, but and you have is, to have characters. You've got well, to have. I, I think it's this, you know, writing thing where writers think they have to have a message, right? They have to have a moral. It can't just be there for entertainment or because it's interesting or to explore, you know, a, a what if scenario of these characters behaving in this way, right? Mm -hmm. You've got to have a message. And so they sit there and they've written all this story in and they've got the dialogue and everything's looking good. And they're sitting there going, they're going, ah, crap. We need a message. We need, we need a moral for this story. <laughs> uh, you know what? Friendship. Let's just go with friendship. That seems to be popular. I think that's really a lot it, of... It just... It, and I'm, I'm going to blame a lot of Potter for this too, actually. Because they get very heavy-handed with that. Especially once you get into the whole Voldemort's back thing. As long as we're a friendship and that whole part in five where... You That's know, why I loved Ron in the first movie so much because he was like, no, I can't go for it, for it. Hermione can't go for it. You, it's about you. You've got to do it. I'll do what I can to help you, but it's you. And but, people understood him. And then they have that flashback scene of everybody laughing and being good friends. And, you know, that that's what gets Harry to shake Voldemort off. Yes. And, you know... Oh, was that a flashback? I thought it was his parents. I thought he was thinking of his parents. Well, in the book he does. Oh. <laughs> he really? Thinks, he really? you going to bring it back to that on me. He, anyway. Uh, he, uh, no, he thinks of his parents. He thinks of his friendship and how he, you know... Again, it's, it's, it's something to strive for. It's a, it's it's, a and motivation. It's, it's a motivation. But it's not tool. the fact that... It's it's not the friendship that beats Voldemort. No. It's it's the... No, and I, I, I guess I would say it like this. It's kind of... It's the fact that Harry can have empathy like, that makes him better than Voldemort. Well, it's kind of like... Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, a friendship could be the, the tool to kind of sharpen the sword. Yeah. But it's, it's not the sword itself. And it's so... Many of these. it's the sword itself, and I get, uh, and, or at least they try and make it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's let's, like let's just ignore the fact that you have Mjolnir, and that guy can shoot lasers out of his hands in his fancy suit. But no, it's the friendship. Yeah, yeah. It's, no, uh, and there was this idea that uh, 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 one of the things that I oh no, 
No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. I just had the name of the movie. Uh, it's an animated movie. It's a DC animated movie. It's part of the DC animated uh, universe movies. Don't ask Which, me. Which, at least a lot of those aren't uh, the greatest. It was Justice League Apocalypse. Sure. Yes? We're on the clock here, buddy. <laughs> no. Justice League Doom. Justice League okay. Doom. Please, Justice League Doom. No, it's not just... Damn it. On the clock Why can here. I... Anyway, but it's, it's this movie where... Where Darkseid isn't going to invade the planet. They start finding all the mother boxes. Why can I not remember? It's pissing me off. It's No, it's making me mad because I love this. But anyway, but there's this idea. The clock don't care. But the, I know, I know. But you get, you essentially, you get all the Justice League people together. And they weren't doing it for friendship. They looked at each other and they're like, look, you know why we got to do this? Because they weren't friends at this point. They just, right. a lot of them just met each other. Right. Like, you know why we got to do this? Do you know why? Because we're the only ones that can. Yeah, right. That's why we do it. That's why we're the ones that do it. That made that's and, a motivator. Yeah, and we're like, you know why? Because our 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 because they, they you know they're going to terraform the planet and mm -hmm. you know Earth we don't want it terraformed because you know we kind of live here. Yeah, yeah. And God, it's, what also would be terraforming? It's really making me mad. I have the movie downstairs. I can go get the movie. Gr Greek uh, Greek uh, Terra is Greek for Earth, and so if you terraform something, you make it Earth-like. So you can't terraform Earth; it's already Earth-like. You'd have to something else it. <laughs> I'm banning you from Greek. <laughs> Might be Latin. But, um, uh. <laughs> anyway, no, but but I just the, the, this idea, and I understand that, like especially like a lot of the CW shows and the Arrowverse and all that, they are teen dramas. Well, and yeah, and Supernatural's on the CW, which is a very much a youth-based channel. Uh, well, I mean, it wasn't though when it mm. started. I'm sorry, you've seen seasons one through five are still some of the best out there. And yes. yes, there was this element of family and element of brotherhood, but it wasn't the superpower of well, family, it's also, the superpower of brotherhood. No, and, and also it was the poetry. Or this, like, I can't do this thing without this other person. Sometimes it was, I have to do this thing for this other person, well, and they missed it. And also, Supernatural, the, um, the poetry, you know. Um, Michael and Dean are, you know, the, the favorite child, the strong, the soldier, the one that right. takes orders. You know, Sam, the rebel Lucifer, the rebellious, the younger, the one that always questions. And then they're supposed to be parallels, and the brothers go, no, because of our, you know, we are different than you. We are our own people, and our relationship is not yours. Yeah, so we yeah will... because we do things for each other. We don't do things, and that's the thing. Is and that, that was the that was the point of that. And that that's part of where that brotherly well, thing. Because that that's where the, the, and the I think that that's where the difference of this idea of the superpower of friendship comes in. Yeah, is because it's not we do these things for each other because we're the ones that can. It's this idea that well, as long as we're just around each other and we just always stay friends, like it'll always be okay. Yeah, and there's a big difference there. There's a very there's a big, big difference there because mm -hmm. there's this because you see I, there's so many I, like I, I can't actually point to one scene because it's literally season after season after season after season. Right. Again, it's why I stopped watching the Arrowverse uh, like <laughs> two years ago. I just couldn't do it anymore. I just couldn't flip and do this 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 whole just this. It, well, our friendship does for us. No, that's not how it works. It's, and that's also the difference is that. You know what gave well, the, and the reason? Again, the, reason the Walking Harry, Dead had that crap. Oh, I know. But the reason Harry, in the books at least, could you know tackle Voldemort is because he had the support of his friends, not because he had them. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? It was, and also different friends too. Like I mean, Harry wasn't Ron and Hermione were his closest friends, mm -hmm. but he wasn't just doing this for them. He was doing it because Voldemort had to be stopped. And I just can't do. And you know, again the. You know, you had the idea of friendship in, in Star Wars, the original trilogy. Oh, yeah, but I mean... And, you then, still in see... the, and then in the prequel trilogy, you you had brotherhood between Obi-Wan and Anakin, Anakin, and you see the kind of the failure of brotherhood and what it means to kind of diverge and be and see what selfishness can do. Those are really good parallels. I still love the prequels. People hate me for that. Love the, I didn't know the prequels were hated until I got old enough to and met you. Comparatively. I didn't <laughs> know they were hated. I but, had no idea because I'm just that but ignorant. I, but I will say this. But, that, that is actually a fantastic point is if you look at Luke, Han, and Leia, mm -hmm. you know, obviously they're good friends and they went, through, but they had to go through hell with each other yeah. to become and friends. And they had to do and things. And if, if you watch the character growth, it's Han learning to think about people other than himself that causes that friendship. When he comes back to save mm -hmm. Luke uh, on the Death Star run, it's Luke's, you know, fine, it's a big test for Luke when he runs off to Bespin before Yoda thinks he's ready and before yeah. he was. But again, another because he's, he feels obligated to save his friends. But in that case, friendship was used against him. And that's actually a really good counterpoint because... 
Well, and like I said, is that friendship isn't the sword itself, and so it's the whetstone. It's the whetstone. It's yeah. the it it it's, it sharpens the sword. It keeps the sword sharp in battle. It keeps a motivating factor. But I'm not screwing with you, dude. I've seen and I've seen, and it's been in rom coms. It oh, it, I know. It, it's been in it's been not in the, it's not been to in fixate dramas. On, not to fixate on Potter too much, but they both had it wrong and right. Is that you know when they talk about Voldemort, they you know. It's because Harry's, you know, capable of love that he's able to shake off Voldemort's possession. Don't quite understand how a physical body Voldemort is able to possess, but moving on. Um, and then um, the, uh, but then right after that, in the very next scene, is that, but we have something we're fighting for. He doesn't. That's the point right there. Mm -hmm. Is is that when you have something, someone to fight for, you will fight harder. Mm -hmm. And what is that? That is sharpening the sword, not giving you one it, it yeah there's and so but i do think that you know and we, we've kind of just ranted on this one but i do think a lot of this comes from a lot of writers sit down and especially when it comes to child and teen fiction they have to have a moral in there but, they have to have a moral but, but why does it have to be this because they're lazy i'm calling them out right now prove me wrong they're lazy they go for the easiest one to get after yeah no you're probably not wrong on that i just it's so bad, especially because you see, like, the arrow went from camaraderie and this idea of doing things for the people you care about because you're the one that could do them to this, as long as we just have the power of friendship, as long as we... You're allowed to finish your thoughts. <laughs> no, it's fine. The timer, because I'll keep going. Why don't you guys do us a favor, go down in the comments below and tell us what your worst superpower of friendship moment was in uh, any movie, television show, uh, cartoon, anything. You go down and You've be like, You've heard mine, it's Yu-Gi-Oh with the Pegasus duel and all of a sudden the friendship I, hands of the, uh, yeah. I just, anything in the Arrowverse after the first few seasons of those shows, just that, I just, I, I, I stopped watching it. I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't do it anymore and they and the writers always come up with some convoluted idea why it works too and it pisses me anyway shadow realm comment down below <laughs> what's what's the superpower of friendship moment that you guys hate the most and stick around to the end of this video to find out how you guys can support the channel even more and a little better and we will see you all on the next one where we talk about i'm not going to tell you just like they never tell us. They never tell us. They never <laughs> tell us. All right. See you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching A uh, Drink With Crazy. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.